Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar. Overnight we got the official cash rate and a Reserve Bank of New Zealand rate um, statement. As you can see, uh, the cash rate has been hiked from uh, 1% to 150, which was um, more than market expectations of 120. Uh, 25 so we will definitely uh, take a look at the uh, New Zealand dollar during the technical part uh, data from the um, from the UK are about to be released consumer price index uh, core consumer price index PPI input output and retail price index data that have a, a lot to do with the inflationary pressure speech from the bank of japan um, governor kuroda uh, is scheduled for his quarter past eight in the morning and uh, we got some more data here from the uh, uh, eurozone however they are not really market movers the real market mover is still scheduled for release at uh, 4 p.m this is the overnight rate from the bank of uh, canada the market expect uh, a hike from 0.5 percent to one percent and then we will have the uh, bank of canada rate statement and the monetary policy report uh, one hour after this data release we got the bank of canada press conference so this is the uh, key event uh, event of the day we will definitely take a look at the canadian dollar however let's start the technical part with the new zealand dollar daily time frame chart of the new zealand dollar looks like this we got the very big pin bar here made just above the level of 6998 the high was at 6031 pips then we have a decline for almost whole week um, we are back below this long-term trend line so all of the levels here are now back there uh, back they are changing the color back to the red because they are now uh, technical resistance of course and the market is trading around the level of uh, 6804 this level is on the verge of a breakout lower and this breakout is out of the channel as you can see here and of course uh, this breakout is out below the horizontal uh, technical support uh, 6804 next target is uh, 6753 let me just change this to that one there you go and we have a pretty pretty nice uh, technical support uh, zone 6753 6730 and 6699 so this is pretty nice technical support however if especially 6699 is violated then the next stop is 6587 more than 100 pips lower um the uh, the rsi is negative the market is below the level of 50 let me just put the horizontal horizontal line on the level of of a um, of a 50 around uh, somewhere here so we can see that right now uh, we definitely broke below the level of 50 and we continue to uh, to move lower the, the breakout below the level of 50 means that the market is being um, is being uh, under the bearish pressure uh, is being attacked by the by the bears so uh, big pin bar here on a daily time frame chart is telling us that the bearish pressure is still present and we should expect more downside uh, to come very very soon on the New Zealand dollar let's take a look at the Canadian dollar ahead of the interest rate decision so what do we have here daily time frame chart of the Canadian dollar is showing us um, uh, um, a correction a correction towards 50% of the Fibonacci retracement of the last wave down this last wave down has ended with the pin bar here uh, 1.2650 is the level of the 50% uh, uh, correction it was hit already it was hit already so right now um, uh, we got this pin bar here a very interesting pin bar a little bit of the upper shadow a long down shadow so the people and the traders uh, they don't know what exactly they want to do with that situation right now however uh, we still have this uh, 
this uh, uh, let's say uh, we still have this levels here uh, as a support 1.2586 1.2570 are the technical uh, supports right now for uh, for bulls uh, however uh, the option for uh, rally towards 61 percent located at 1.2704 is still on the uh, table um, the momentum barely moved above the level of 50 right now is it's 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 uh, at the level of 52 so it's not that uh, not that strong hovering just around the level of a 50 neutral level so if there is no decisive breakout especially above 1.2708 we might see a correction here or maybe consolidation here uh, kind of a horizontal trend maybe and then decline then we should decline and continue this move here to the downside as you can see you can see uh, as a wave a so what might be happening here in terms of Elliott wave is simply a first corrective decline here as a wave a then of course we are waiting for the wave B to complete and there is still wave C waiting for uh, waiting for development so this is how it looks right now on the US dollar to the Canadian uh, dollar uh, let's take a look at the oil crude oil uh, prices the oil prices has ended uh, the um, ending diagonal one Two, three, four, five to the downside. The wave C um, uh, it might have been ended here at the level of just below the level uh, of the low of the wave. Wave A at uh, exactly to the point is 92.93. We have the bullish engulfing pattern. Da. Yep, this is the bullish engulfing pattern. Let me just zoom in, guys. This is the bullish engulfing pattern. We got it here okay so very nice spread on this candle and today we are fighting the short term uh, trend line of course this is the uh, technical resistance the level of 103.70 is the technical resistance if we break above the short term trend line and then we can uh, we can break above the technical resistance and head towards 108.40 uh, 42 so it looks like the the uh, crude oil prices uh, are bouncing however this bounce, bounce is uh, very limited uh, for now and we shouldn't expect uh, a fireworks just uh, just yet 61 percent is no longer necessary it was uh, it, it was done already so the crude oil is still in an in an uptrend however after the abc correction was done we should see either a big massive uh, rally to the upside back above the highs of the wave b well we will see about that or we should see continuation of this correction to the downside or horizontally what i mean is that maybe the abc correction will uh, will um Will develop another wave uh, wave x and then of course we are waiting for another abc so that means the corrective pattern on the crude oil will get more and more complex and time consuming time will tell right now the key technical support 93 61 93 23 is still on the table so i will just remove this upper line here this is our technical support right now please keep an eye on this level uh, the lows are at 92, 90, uh, 93. So please keep an eye on this level. If we break below this level, we can continue towards 80 to 8, 9, 23 on the crude oil uh, market. Last but not least, let's take a look at Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin doing? Well, we have definitely broke below the uh 42616 technical support so right now this level is the resistance and we hit the very interesting uh, zone here uh between two uh, uh, horizontal uh, supports 39262 39877 and the market is trying to bounce from the negative territory however this is not not yet uh, this is um, extremely uh, oversold market 
big 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 red candle tells us that the bears are in charge uh, still in control uh, of this market that they want this market the market of bitcoin to to be moved even lower towards 37,000 or even towards the uh, february low of 34,290 so please keep an eye on this level right here on the technical support this movement here this movement here from 48,227 to the recent low is not a part of the uh, corrective uh, corrective movement to the upside because this is the biggest uh, the biggest correction yet uh, it might be even bigger than this one let me just take a look this is uh, 25 percent let's take a look at the price range uh, this is this is 1851 so this one is not not the biggest one yes yeah, so this was the biggest one 25 percent however 18 percent almost 19 percent is still big enough to consider this as a new cycle to the downside however we need a breakout lower we need to break below this uh, this uh, technical supports any breakout below uh, this level 37,051 would uh, would likely uh, be the continuation of the down uh, down move so far no uh, no sign of any kind of a market rebound of any kind of a market um, uh, the termination uh, of this of this downtrend so we should see lower levels on bitcoin so that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye